I welcome Jennifer McIntosh, Executive Secretary of the International Solar Energy Society in the headquarters in Freiburg, Germany. And I welcome Professor Eike Weber. He is Director of the Fraunhofer ISE, also in Freiburg. And he is new elected Vice President of ISIS since 2016. Well, the, um, ISIS organized um, Eurosun conferences since almost 20 years. Um, why is it so important to gather experts still in a hotel where we have a lot of modern media possibilities like, you know, online conferencing and stuff? Well, uh, the Eurosun conferences and other ISIS conferences offer the opportunity for people to come together and network and exchange ideas about their work and their experiences and to... Uh, discuss the challenges that we still face. Um, although media such as webinars, which is an activity that ISIS does do, offer a great opportunity to connect people on a very easy level, there's still no real good replacement for meeting face to face to build networks, to present your work to your peer audiences, and to get good input from, from other people working in your field. And we believe this conference offers that excellent opportunity. Okay. Since uh, 2000, I think Eurosun got into the direction of energy usage in building an industry. Why did you choose this topic? Well, as we've learned this morning, and, and as we know, um, the buildings and, and heat, for example, make up an incredibly large share of our energy use. And so uh, focusing on how we change the use of energy in our buildings, uh, not only replacing our uh, sources of energy through renewables, but also increasing energy efficiency is a huge and important step uh, into transforming our energy uh, systems into 100% renewable energy. So we really need to focus on what kind of buildings we have, especially here in Europe where we have a very large old building stock that has to be renovated and, and modernized, as well as our industry. Uh, Europe is an industrialized uh, region, especially when you look at the larger countries like Germany and, and Spain. And so we need to look at new solutions um, and offer, through this conference, opportunities to exchange and, and to learn about innovation that will help change our energy systems, especially in these, in these two sectors, but also in, in other areas as well. Heike Weber, you are new elected vice president, and I think you have multiple tasks and multiple jobs. So what makes this organization so special that you get involved in this one? Now, first of all, I should mention that my institute, Fraunhofer ISE, was very instrumental in the founding of ISIS. And it's not completely by chance that the name sounds kind of similar, because Professor Gotzberger helped a lot to get the current ISIS headquarters in Freiburg. So we are really founding members. And actually, we were for a very long time represented on the board. A few years ago, I took over the board position. And... Uh, the plan which I have for ISIS is really based on what ISIS has achieved in the last uh, close to 30 years. Uh, we should now see where we have to go into the future. And the future, of course, means we have now reached a very important point. Renewable energies are cost effective, are being introduced all over the world and with an accelerating pace, but we realize that there are more and more obstacles coming up. Stakeholders, the conventional energy industry is getting more and more aware that something is going on there which might threaten their business models. And ISIS is the global organization which brings together currently about 1,700 or so scholars, scientists, experts on solar energies, and therefore it has a very important uh, base knowledge to offer in this process. But of course, I think now we can use the assets which we have at ISIS to go one step further and to try to make sure that what is needed in the next years in order to overcome obstacles against the transformation process of the energy system is being addressed to in a very powerful way. So I think ISIS can play a very important global role in making sure that this transformation process goes smoothly, goes as fast as possible, because uh, we not only go this way because it is now financially so attractive, but the key underlying factor is, of course, to meet our climate goals, to reduce CO2 emissions quickly enough to save the planet. And I think ISIS can play a very important role there. 
Thank you. Which strategic partners do you need as ISIS to follow this 100% um, strategy? Basically, we have luckily a very wide variety of existing initiatives. I want to mention, for instance, the Go 100% initiative, uh, Anna Lightwriter and the um, Global um, Environment. Global Future Council is behind this. There is REN21, which brings together all organizations who are supporting and promoting renewable energies. Uh, so there is a whole range of organizations existing, and I think ISIS can help to focus them on the task which has to be done in the next five years because things have changed. You know, 20 years ago, what was important for ISIS was to promote the idea solar energy will be the energy of the future. And at that time, almost nobody wanted to believe it. Today, we have reached this goal and this recognition has been created. But today, we are starting with solar and renewable energies to be a very important economic factor. And this is why suddenly we get obstacles. Good example is Germany. In Germany, they put up a tax on your own solar energy you produce on your rooftop uh, for your own consumption. I just heard this morning in Spain is a similar thing, you know. So this shows, of course, solar energy doesn't need subsidies anymore, but now we should leave it alone and make only regulatory provisions to let it go. And now you see slashing tariffs and making, slowing down the process. And this is something we have to fight and we have to use the combined knowledge and expertise of the ISIS members and we have to use this and amplify it even further in order to make sure that worldwide we stay on track for the fastest possible transformation of the energy system away from CO2 emission towards the renewable based system. And this morning we heard from the plenary talk of uh, Professor Henning from my institute that it's absolutely possible to transfer a complex uh, country like Germany to something like 80% renewables and this is even cost effective. And the same applies all over the world. This is really where we have to go. This is the message. Thank you. Have a nice conference, exciting conference. Thank you so much. Thank you.